Nigerian women are squaring up to present their charter of demands to each of the 36 state governors to lobby for political appointment as ministers and commissioners. A renowned gender activist, Tong Okewale Sonaya, has said on Sunday uh, that uh, while the women groups will be holding a strategic briefing with the 9th National Assembly female legislators on the 35% affirmation uh, action judgment by the Federal High Court in Abuja to demand more appointments for women uh, in the incoming administrations. Plans have also reached advanced stages for them to visit 36 governors to lobby them for nominations of women for appointments in line with the 35% affirmative action. She therefore has called on the 36 state governors to nominate women for ministerial appointments in the spirit of equality, equity, and fairness in the country. According to her, the responsibility for ministerial appointees or appointments lie not only on the president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu, but also governors of the states controlled by the All Progressive Congress who are putting forward names for nomination. Well, joining us to discuss this and more is Honorable Buki Okangwe. She is the National Coordinator Progressives Hub. Buki, thank you so much for joining us. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Yeah, Buki, it's, it, it's all fair and dandy that women are stepping up to the plate. Um, but there are those who would say that women don't necessarily have to ask for these appointments if they already uh, have been positioning themselves strategically and doing the grassroots work or pulling their weight. They probably just have their names automatically on those lists instead of asking. I didn't get you clearly. Your I'll try again. Why, why do women have to ask for these appointments as opposed to strategizing and positioning okay. themselves for these appointments? Okay, uh, thank you for having me. Yes. Um, first of all, I want to thank God for what we've been, we've been through the campaign and um, we're ready to see our president, the president elect in a few weeks. I don't know where women are asking for appointments in uh, in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the president president elect uh, the incoming administration. I've not heard anywhere where I hear women protesting or asking or begging or to be included in the government of uh, Asiwajibola Ahmed Tinubu. Because Asiwajibola Ahmed Tinubu is um, is not is right from inception. He's been a women. Uh, 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 supporter. He has been campaigning. He has had a deputy governor who is a woman. I mean, he has had uh, commissioners that are women. And even in the present government that he is not a president, he has nominated women in key role. So in the incoming government, uh, the incoming government has made it very clear that women will be in charge. I mean, already in the, in the party, we have a very strong voice. Uh, our woman leader is a very strong woman. And uh, she has been pushing to see how women can be Inclusive. I mean, it's not. She's not. She's not pushing in a in a way in a begging way. Asuaju has made it very clear that women will play a very big role in his in his administration. So, I mean, women asking or begging is not in our. It's not even what we're looking at in Uh Yes, let's talk about the fact that um, Bartinubu's um, renewed hope manifesto. Um, said that he would seek the, the employment of female in all government offices. Employment of females in all government offices. But then we're talking about, other than having a woman in the Ministry of Women Affairs, or uh, a woman as the head of service, what other key roles can women also be holding in that administration, as opposed to the very stereotypical positions of a woman leader, or woman affairs commissioner or minister? Well, I think in this administration, by the grace of the Almighty God, we're going to see ministers, ministers, uh, a minister of, uh, uh, of, of, by God's grace, we may see a minister of uh, uh, health being a woman, a minister of agriculture being a woman. We're expecting, we're expecting what we've never seen before in Nigeria in this administration. We're dealing with a man that knows how to empower people without considering a gender. So we're expecting to see Minister of Technology as women because he's got, he's not just a politician. He has built a structure. He's been preparing for it. He has all his people already. He knows who will handle this. So we're not dealing with a novice. We're not dealing with uh, people who have been in, uh, maybe a military officer who, uh, who, you know, we're not dealing with any, any kind of person here. 
We're dealing with a politician. We're dealing with a businessman. We're dealing with a, somebody who has worked as, as uh, who has been in an office as an administrator. So we, we we're going to see what we never what we don't even expect, what we're not used to in this government of Atua Dibola and Atulubu. That's mm. what I, I would say to Nigeria. Now, let me go to some of the things that he said. Um, he said that uh, if elected, his administration will reserve minimum of three cabinet positions for Nigerians under the age of 40, um, while six cabinet positions will be reserved for people under the age of 50. And in addition, 20% of political appointments uh, at ministries, departments, and agencies are going to be reserved for qualified people under the age of 40 again. He would re re reserve at least three cabinet positions for persons under the age of 40 and six more positions for members under the age of 50. So uh, he's saying that he's going to have more young people in his government. Again, I'm wondering. Absolutely. I'm wondering, will we be seeing a 35%, even more affirmative action in the president's cabinet as opposed to who people would see the president as uh, surrounding himself um, with so many men as opposed to women? Well, uh, uh, like I said, we're dealing with a politician. He knows how he will do it. He has given us the figures already. Like for the women, I know a lot of women are going to play a very key role in our government, which is already happening. Even uh, a lot of in the youth, in the youth uh, wing, there's so much that is happening. Almost all the youth that work for Atiwaju have been, are already preparing for a very big concert. Most of them are already in the committee. I don't see, I know almost all those youth, so I don't see anyone that is being left out. So what's in, your percentage? In, in, in because you keep saying assignment. so many women. You know? what, is, what is so many women? What do you mean by so many women? What's the percentage? Well, so many women for me, I'm looking more than affirmative action. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking at uh, 35%. And I think, for me, I don't, I'm not a campaigner of 35%. I campaign for more than 35%. You know, I'm, I always talk about 45, 50. So I don't like when people talk about 35. 35 was during Jonathan. Even during Buhari, we did, we did more than 35 as a party. So with the Akiwaji Bola and the government, we're not expecting, we're not even looking at 35. We're looking at 50 upwards. Because we've got a lot of young women that are vibrant. We've got the, in APC. We've got a lot of women that are capable. It's not like before that women will be given only only when I go to the Ministry of Women Affairs. Okay, let it be a woman. You know, I'm expecting to see women in sectors that we've never seen before in Nigeria. Hmm. Uh, let's talk about um, other things that uh, would be in store for women. I know that you obviously are a progressive in your mindset. Um, and uh, you'd obviously want to see more progressive things happen in this administration. What should the women generally, not just those who are seeking for appointments, but women in Nigeria, be looking forward to under the Tinubu administration after May 29? And what are the, some of the things that you think that this administration, when sworn in, uh, should be targeting? Well, uh, uh, we, are, we are preparing for our inauguration, and so far, with the little I know, so many women from different political parties are being carried along. That is the first step for you to know that this government, as said, you are not aware of what is happening. A lot of people just sit down and say, oh, you know, but so many things is happening in this administration already, the incoming administration already, you know. There's so many women that have been invited to round table table uh, uh, discussions to, for, to see how we can work together. I know an organization that sent for Labour Party women, only three of them came. You know, I was part of that meeting. You know, it was more or less like a discussion that was organized by an NGO. They removed, they invited women from different political parties to see how they can work with the new administration. And I was part of that delegation. I met women from other political parties. And that was organized from Atiwaju, uh, 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 people working with Atiwaju through an NGO. So, so many things, even with the youth, even with the youth, the youth concert that is coming, so many youth from different political parties are, be, uh, are being carried along. So, still Nigerians should please take, it, take a break and look at what is happening. If you can get involved, get involved. Don't sit on the side and, and just throw some word, oh, this, all oh, that. We are seriously working. I am just on my way home. I know where, where and where I've been. I'm sorry, when you say, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry Buki. I'm so sorry to talk over you. When you say get involved, get involved in exactly what? Get involved in the new government. How? You, you see, it's not about sitting down and saying, oh, I'm not in APC. Uh, I don't belong to APC. 
It's a DC government. Uh, we don't want them. We want them. Get involved. Go to the people that you think are involved. Ask them what is happening. How can I get involved? Mm. Make some phone calls. Go to the party secretary. If, they say, if you're not a party member, go to the support groups. Support groups are for non-party members. Mm. Go to party. Go to support groups. Register with them. Oh, we are we are a team from this party. Oh, we want to see how we can support this your government. Register with the support group. There is a platform that when time comes, they will collect all what the, the support group has registered, and they will present you to the president elect. That mm. is what is happening today. And what is the and end a lot game? Of people are doing and, that. and what will be the end game in present presenting all of these support groups to the president elect? What is sister, the end game? My sister, I know. Uh, you might think I'm a progressive, but uh, maybe you've not met me. I've run elections many times. I am I'm a grassroots politician. In my community, I don't know who is PDP or who is APC. We always have to sit down on that election or election evening and discuss and say, look, this is where it will favor us. Because we believe that when you favor any of your child, it will favor the community. That's how I play my politics. Okay. I cook my food. It's not the APC member that eats it. Everybody in the community has to eat my food. That's okay. who I am. I'm a humanitarian. Okay. So I, I believe that when the time comes, we will be the ones that will be speaking for the Renew uh, Hope agenda. I will chip in whatever needs to be done will be done. And okay. I know Atiwadu is ready to listen to people like us. All right. There will be a team that will be reminding Atiwadu, Atiwadu about all this. All right, all right. Well, I want to say thank you. Honorable Buki Okangwe is the National Coordinator, Progressives Hub. Thank you so much for speaking with us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Plus God all bless right. You. And that's the show tonight. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget, if you want to um, play catch up with some of our previous episodes, just go to Plus TV Africa on YouTube and you can watch all our previous conversations. Do have a good evening. I am Mary Annacombe.